Linda Hall presents How to Make a Blue Beaded Bird Craft for Kids. In this jewelry video tutorial, you can learn how to make a blue beaded bird craft for kids. This delicate stitching of blue faceted bicon beads, clear faceted bicon beads, blue faceted bicon beads, and black round beads makes this bird craft very life like and so much fun for the kids in your life. So, let's get started. To begin, you're going to need 6 millimeter round beads, 6 millimeter yellow faceted bicon beads, 6 millimeter clear faceted bicon beads, 6 millimeter blue faceted bicon beads, black strap, 0.3 millimeter silver gray tail and stainless steel scissors. So, get everything you need together and let's get started. First, cut about 50 centimeters of the tiger tail and remove the curved tips. So, thread five six millimeter clear faceted beads as the beginning of our project. Then, cross the tiger tail through the left clear bead and tighten. Now thread three six millimeter blue faceted beads to the right side of the tiger tail. Once you've threaded these, then you're going to thread one blue bead to the left tiger tail and cross the right through the bead and tighten. This will form another circle. Now pass the right tiger tail through the 6mm clear bead and tighten. Once you've tightened all these, thread a black bead and a blue bead to the right tiger tail. Then thread a blue bead to the left tiger tail and cross the right through the left blue bead again. Once you cross through the blue bead, you're going to cross the right tiger tail through the clear faceted bead and tighten. Now thread two of the six millimeter blue faceted beads to the left tiger tail. Thread a six millimeter blue bead to the right tiger tail and cross the left tiger tail through the right blue bead. Very similar to what we've done in previous steps. Again, you're gonna cross the right tiger tail through the six millimeter clear bead and tighten. Once you've crossed through the blue and the clear bead, thread on two more of the blue faceted beads to the left tiger tail, and then a blue bead to the right tiger tail, and cross the left through the right bead. Once you've crossed the blue bead, you're gonna again cross the right tiger tail through the six minute clear bead and tighten. Now cross the right tiger tail through the blue bead beside the clear bead and thread a 6 millimeter black round bead on the upper tiger tail. Thread a 6 millimeter blue bead on the other tiger tail. Then cross the bottom tiger tail through the black round bead and tighten. Be careful to the orientation of your wires to make sure we get this design correct. This step should form a perfect circle. Now cross the upper tiger wire through the corner blue bead and tighten. This just helps the wire stay in place and in the right orientation. Now thread two blue faceted beads to the bottom tiger tail 
and one to the upper tiger tail. Again, cross the bottom tiger tail through the upper bead. Now cross the upper tiger tail through the 6mm blue faceted bead on the bottom and tighten. And then cross the upper tiger tail through the black round bead and tighten. Now thread a 6mm blue bead to the both tiger tails respectively. And cross the left through the right and tighten. This is basically a repetition of very similar steps, but make sure you pay attention to which one's crossing where, so that way that you make sure that you have the wires correctly oriented as you continue to build on this project. Now thread a 6mm blue faceted bead to both tiger tails and cross the right tiger tail through the left blue bead. Now cross the upper tiger tail through two blue faceted beads one by one. Now thread a 6mm blue bead onto both tiger tails respectively and cross the right tiger tail through the left blue bead. Now you're going to cross the left tiger tail through three blue faceted beads one by one. Perfect. Now thread a 6mm blue faceted bead to the bottom tiger tail and cross the upper tiger tail through the 6mm faceted bead. Now cross the tiger tail through two blue beads one by one. Then cross the bottom tiger tail through four blue faceted beads one by one. Perfect. Now cross the right tiger tail through a 6mm blue bead. And cross the left tiger tail through a 6mm blue bead. Thread a yellow 6mm faceted bead to the right tiger tail. Then cross the left tiger tail through the yellow bead.
Now you will cross the right tiger tail through a blue bicon bead. And also cross the left through a blue and a clear bicon bead one by one. Crossing through the different beads allows you to reposition the wire so that the beads are falling in the correct place. Follow the video to help you locate which ones should be passed through. Once you've done through the blue and the clear bead, you're going to thread another yellow faceted bead to the right tiger tail. And then cross the right tiger tail through a clear bicon bead and a blue bicon bead in sequence. Now thread a yellow bead to the left tiger tail and cross the left tiger tail through a clear and blue in sequence as well. Now thread a 6mm blue faceted bead to the right tiger tail and cross the right tiger tail through a blue bicon bead. Great, now thread a blue faceted bead to the right tiger tail and cross the left tiger tail through a blue bicon bead. Great, now thread a blue faceted bead to the right tiger tail and cross the left tiger tail through a blue bicon bead. You're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, now cross the two tiger tails through blue bicon beads to tighten the little bead bird. When you have finished tightening the wires, make a knot with the two tiger tails and then cross through other beads to fix the knot in place. Be sure to cut off any excess wire that you may have. Our final step will be to add the black strap. Wow, this blue beaded bird craft is finished. This blue beaded bird craft can be used as a toy for the kids and it's a fun way for them to be involved in arts and crafts. It can also be used as hanging ornaments for your keychain or cell phone. Just follow the above video tutorial and have a try yourself. We hope you have fun. For more free panda haul beading tutorials, just stay tuned.